Hey there, Nation. Welcome to the show where we help you to play miniatures wargaming on a budget. It is I, Commander Chiefskate, and we are back with another edition of Spoils of War. This is our series of videos that are dedicated to beer, cigar, and whiskey reviews, and today we are reviewing the Herrera Steli by Drew Estate. This cigar is in a Robusto size, so it is about 5 inches and I believe 50 64 of an inch in diameter. It is a joint venture that is done between Willie Herrera of the Titan the Bronze uh, Factory in Miami, Florida with the Drew Estate Company. Uh, this cigar has received numerous uh, 90 plus ratings. I believe they received a couple 93 ratings as well as a 94 rating as well in 2004. I think it ranked number 8 in the top 10 best cigars um, for a cigar aficionado. So it's a very, very popular cigar and we're going to give that one a light and try it out. So uh, a little bit about this show, we're going to talk a little bit about the company that makes it a little bit about the cigar itself and also uh, light it up and go through the review. We will talk about flavors we get from the first initial light to the first third, the second third, and the final third. And as always, these videos are dedicated to our brother in arms who's across the ocean right now fighting for our freedoms. So uh, big pook if you're watching this buddy, this one's dedicated to you. All right, so a little bit about the company. Like I said, uh, Herrera Steli is a joint adventure. It's actually a joint venture, rather. It was made by two different companies, uh, Drew Estate, which is a world-renowned uh, cigar company. They're known for their uh, Drew Estate's uh, Undercrowns uh, series. They're also known for the Acid line of cigars as well, with, you know, usually type of uh, flavored infused cigars. But this one's actually a traditional non-fused flavors, and this one was actually created with the help of Willie D. Herrera. Willie Herrera was a uh, is the cigar guy who runs the Titan de Bronze uh, factory in Miami, Florida. He really got known uh, cigar blender, uh, makes some really excellent handmade cigars. And he, as well as Drew, uh, Drew Estates, partnered up to create this line. So because of that, it is an Esteli cigar, which means that it's from Nicaragua. So because that, it will have a very uh, kind of like spicy aromas to it because that's traditional, very traditional of, of uh, 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 Nicaraguan cigars. Uh, this one is an Habano wrap, so you can see it's got this beautiful caramelly brown, uh, brown color for the outside of it because it is a Habano uh, for the binder. So you can see inside of it, the filler, of course, is, you know, Nicaraguan long leaf tobacco. It's a premium handmade. It's got a very nice, smooth texture to it, which is uh, very common of Habano wrappers. Habanos are traditionally very tight packed with a uh, very smooth complexion to it. It's a very, very nice looking cigar overall. So. Let's go ahead and talk about a little bit from the aroma that we get from it. So let's go ahead and uh, see what kind of notes we get from the UK. Hmm. First off, you get that very semi-sweet Habano uh, aroma, tobacco aroma. It's kind of a little bit of a creamy kind of vanilla uh, notes is what I'm getting from it. It's a very sweet aroma, kind of a little bit of vanilla. A little bit of spiciness in there as well, which is very, very nice. As you can see, the label says Herrera Esteli by Drew Estate. On the label it says, uh, we warranty the tobacco used in Herrera Stelli are the finest vintage aged air cured black cigar leaf as well. And it says right here, it's created by the uh, Esteli, uh, as well handmade in Nicaragua by Drew Estate. So, that's the room we got from it. A little history about the cigar itself. So let's go ahead and light this up and uh, give it uh, initial flavors and then we'll start the review. All right, so as you can see, we have the foot of the cigar lit. So we're now it's time for the initial review. So we'll give this a couple of puffs and tell you what kind of aromas and flavors we get from it. So, um, Big Puka, this one's for you, buddy. Let's go and try this out real quick. Hmm, right off the bat, very, very smooth uh, smoke output on this one. The output on this is pretty good. Uh, the flavors you get from it is very, very mild actually at this point, which is pretty surprising for Nicaraguans. Usually Nicaraguans have a very zesty uh, kind of flavor profile to them, especially if you light for the initial light as well, but this one is very, very smooth. Um, there is a little bit of spiciness, but that's more at the back end of it, and it's just very, very mild. Very, very mild pepperiness to it. Um, flavors that we got from it is very, very creamy, uh, kind of like a chocolate flavor, like a, a bittersweet kind of chocolate flavor is what I'm getting from it. Um, just a hint of sweetness, not overpoweringly so. Uh, just very, very mild um, with a little bit of spice on it. Just overall very delicious. Let's go and give this a couple puffs with the retro hill on this one. Mm. <clears throat> 
The retro on this is very, very nice as well. You have kind of like this, kind of like a nuttiness kind of flavor to it, kind of like cashews. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It has kind of like a very cashew type of aftertaste and aroma with the retro pail. Very, very nice as well. So with that being said, we're gonna let this go ahead and burn through the first third. Go ahead and take about a couple puffs during the first third of it and talk about what flavors you get from that. So uh, we'll see you guys after the first third is over with. All right, so we are back. We are back with the first third kind of getting through. We're starting to get to the second third now. So let's go ahead and uh, get a couple of puffs for the first third. Mm. Very much that very creamy kind of semi-sweet, kind of semi-spicy flavor is still prevalent throughout the entirety of the cigar, the first third of it. It's uh, very, very delicious so far. Very easy going, very, very smooth. Uh, it's a very nice cigar just kind of to relax and to chillax too uh, because of its really mild flavor so far. It's really, really good. It's, you're starting to get a little bit of the zestiness a little bit in the back end especially when you do the retro hail, so uh, there is that, so it's starting to increase in its flavor profile, but pretty much just a very smooth, creamy smoke. The smoke output on it is very, very good. Same thing with the burn time. I would say we're about 15, 20 minutes in, so which is pretty good, considering this is a Robusto, especially. So uh, doing very, very good with the burn time on the cigar. So the very first third, very, very delicious on that part. Let's take a couple more puffs with the retro hail. Mm. Very much still has that cashew flavor aftertaste uh, with the retrohale on that part, so it's still very, very strong on that. So overall, pretty good for the first third. All right, so we're going to leave this heat up some more and get to the second third, and we'll be back with a second third review for this uh, Herrera Esteli by Drew Estate. Okay, so we are back now with the second third. As you can see, we're about halfway through the cigar right now. Like I said, burn time on this is actually pretty good. We're actually hitting the 40-minute mark. Uh, when it comes to the burn time on the cigar. So it's very, very uh, nice, long-lasting cigar. Uh, just kind of gives you a little bit more of the idea of the quality that the Herrera Steli has by Drew Estate. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, take a couple puffs of this and uh, continue on the review. Mm. Very much ice, and now the spiciness is definitely coming in now. Uh, Rose before the first half of the cigar, the spices is kind of mild. The spiciness and the zestiness of the flavoring is going up. It's kind of kind of like a peppery kind of flavor. The sweetness that we had before with the uh, bitter chocolate sweetness as well as the vanilla sweetness is starting to subside a little bit, become a little bit more mild, and the uh, zestiness is starting to take over um, at this point, which is you know very typical for Nicaraguan cigars, um, especially um, especially when it has a, a, a Gran Habano wrapper on the outside of it. So. Very much very, very flavorful. Let's go ahead and take a couple puffs for the retro hail real quick. Mm. Like I said before, the spiciness and the zestiness is increasing uh, as, as we get closer towards the end. So overall, just a very nice, uh, delicious cigar. Just keep on uh, burning it out. So with that being said, we'll return for the final third of the cigar and then we'll of course wrap up our review for the Herrera Steli by Drew Estate. Okay, so we are back now with the final third. As you can see here, the cigar is going already to the final nub of it. Uh, flavor still at the second third, very much the same. Uh, the spiciness, the zestiness is still a present, but not as powerful as you would think it would be. It's actually quite mild in comparison, so, so far delicious. So let's do a couple of puffs of the last third here, and then we'll finish up this review. So, hmm. Very much just that mild zestiness, very strong coca flavor still going throughout. Um, just an overall, just excellent cigar. Highly recommend it. If I had to guess what the burn time would be on this, is probably a total of hour, maybe hour 20 minutes total, which is very excellent uh, for a Busto cigar. So that's good for this one, you guys. As always, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Your guys' input is available to us as always. Also check us on Instagram, Google+, blogger.com, and Facebook for all the latest and greatest of our hobby news. That's good to do for this one, you guys. You guys stay classy. Peace out, you guys. See you on the next one.